Hello everyone, welcome back once again. Um, so in this video, without further ado, we are going to talk about the reasons to stay in the UK after finishing your PLAP2 or UKMLA Part 2 examination. There are a couple of reasons why you might want to stay in the UK after finishing your PLAP Part 2 examination or UKMLA Part 2 examination. So the first reason is for CV and the portfolios. The second reason might be uh, that you are expecting to fail in examination then you might want to stay. Third, if you are a British citizen and the dependents then you might want to uh, stay in the UK or then you might think of staying in the UK. And um, the fourth reason is if you want to explore the UK for tourism purpose then you might I want to stay in the UK after your examination and there are a couple of other additional reasons we are going to talk in this video one by one in very detail so first let's talk about uh, the first reason and that is for uh, your CV and portfolio so if you want to work on your CV and the portfolio while you are in the UK for your PLAP2 examination then you might want to uh, to stay in the UK and then you might want to think of staying in the UK the first reason is um, you know if you want to do the clinical attachment or the observership or you have found already one then you might think of staying in the UK after your examination so including uh, you know the details of the clinical examination in your CV always so the experience your practical experience and exposure to the NHS and it's always a plus point for your CV and the portfolios and that's how you stand out from other candidates. The next reason for the CV and portfolios might be uh, you know doing the ALS training so if you are planning to do the ALS while you are in the visit visa or while you are in here for your PLAP2 examination then you might think of staying in the UK. So remember that ALS training runs throughout the year. There are different slots and in the different places. So make sure that you have planned accordingly and you have planned wisely, um, you know, thinking um, uh, right different places and the cost uh, to commute to that particular places and staying in the UK as well and uh, you know highlighting your comp completion of ALS is one of the essential criteria sometimes and it always so your uh, you know demonstrate your competencies in the medical emergencies and always a plus point for your CV. Next next is poster presentation and your research work. So you, if you are planning to uh, do the poster presentation you have already been approved for, uh, to do the poster presentation for any conferences or um, uh, you are um, you know planning to uh, you know present your clinical case report or the research work in different conferences or different meetings and you have already been approved or very likely to um, you know have this that opportunity then you might think of staying in the UK and that's a very good reason to stay in the UK for your CVs and portfolios. So let's jump into the next section and uh, what I would say the most common and wise reason uh, an excuse to stay in the UK after your PLAP2 or UKMLA Part 2 examination. So, so if you think that um, if you are expecting uh, to fail in the exam if you are expecting and almost sure that um, you have not performed well in the exam then it's a wise decision to wait for your results um, you know we, we all feel we have not performed well but if you have a very uh, strong gut feeling that uh, you have not performed well 
then it's, it's very um, wise decision to uh, you know wait till you have your results uh, why I'm saying this, uh, this is uh, so that it will be easier for you to book your next attempt and you can easily get the cancel seat um, at least at the time when I have um, appeared my examination uh, it was easier I still believe that you can um, you know have the cancel seat within the UK and you can appear for the examination right after for the next attempt and it will be easier for you in terms of um, you know you don't have to re-enter to the UK and you can save the money of the travel cost and all the visa tedious process of the visa processing so um, you are saving yourself from the tedious process of the visa processing and the re-entering to the UK and the travel cost as well so you saved a lot of money just by waiting a month for your result if you have that gut feeling and the next uh, thing is uh, you can save yourself a time for the preparation you can brush up a lot of skill um, instead of committing here and there and going through the tedious process again um, you might feel overwhelmed so rather than doing that just stay and wait for your results and the next reason um, of why you might want to stay in the UK is either you are a British citizen or you are a dependent uh, because if you are that um, you can stay in the UK you have a uh, right to live and work in the UK without any immigration restrictions so legally you can stay and you legally you can access to the public health services uh, including the healthcare and education you don't have to worry about any other thing the next very good reason um, is to you know for the tourism and the explore and to explore the UK so yeah you have done the hard work and you might want to chill a bit then where you have this idea to explore the UK that's a very good idea I would say because it's a very rich in history and the culture there are a lot of iconic landmark such as the Tower of uh, London, uh, Birmingham Palace, Stonehenge, and things like that. A lot of vibrant city like Manchester, Edinburgh, London uh, and a lot of natural beauties and a world-class education. You want to explore this thing and you are interested in this thing. It's a very good reason to explore uh, these places while you are in the visit visa and you can do that after your examination and uh, you can reward yourself for the hard work as well the other reason um, is um, you know I would say um, I would talk about the very first and the most important reason um, or or benefit of staying in the UK is the professional networking if you are um, keen to do so so what I mean by that is if you are staying in the UK that allows you to uh, build a strong professional relationship um, and network in the healthcare industry what I mean by that is you can go to your HR talk to your HR seek for a lot of opportunities available within the hospital and um, uh, you know uh, you can build a relationship with your consultant uh, you can seek help from your friends within the UK and you can seek for a mentorship opportunities and you have this um, you know immense uh, access to the career resources so you can build this professional network while you are staying in the UK and that's a very good reason to stay in the UK so always remember your professional network is your professional net worth next um, is no financial constraint meaning that you have uh, money to bear your uh, cost of living in the UK and also the another aspect of financial constraint is if you are in dependent visa you might want to stay in the UK and you can do the different jobs um, and you can continue to work in the different competitive fields or different fields so that you can earn a competitive salary and that might free you from um, this financial constraint and the next and the very last reason is 
If you have a leave granted from your employer back home, then only you want to stay in the UK. Why I'm saying that is if you don't have a granted leave and um, you know, while doing the GMC registration, remember that you have, uh, uh, you know, uh, you need a employer reference, at least a consultant re reference. And if you are in a non-granted leave from the employer, uh, you know, you might face some problem or issues while giving the reference. They might be reluctant to give you a reference or they might give, um, you know, negative feedback um, to the GMC and that might sometimes create issues. So rather than that, have a granted leave. And if you have a granted leave, then you can always stay in the UK. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope this video is useful and yeah, see you in the next video.